Hi everyone, let's begin how we can measure heterosodasticity and what is the difference between heterosodasticity and homosodasticity. We will run all these measurements with the help of e-views as well as how we can control it. We would understand today. So let me start this particular statement, difference between heterosodasticity and homosodasticity. So first of all, this is the heterosodasticity problem means condition in which the variance of the residual term or error term in a regression model varies widely. If suppose error term variance is very high or we can call it residual term variance is very high, it's not constant. So we can say there is the problem of heterosodasticity in this regression model. And homostasticity that is refers to the to a condition in which the variance of the error term in a regression model is constant. So if error term variance of the error term that is constant that is acceptable. But if the error term variance is not constant and that is varies that is not acceptable, this is known as heterosodasticity. So, ordinary least square regression makes the assumption that residual and errors have a constant but unmeasured variance. So, this is referred to as homosodasticity or constant variance and heterosodasticity is the issue when the assumption is violated. So, if your error term variance, it is not constant. So that means there is the problem of heterosodasticity and that is not acceptable and that would create problem and results would be unbiased. So difference between homosodasticity, we can see x-axis, y-axis, we have taken one variable on the x-axis and one variable on the y-axis. You can take any variable like uh, you can take income and consumption. So you can see this is the regression line, right? And this is the another line and both these things are parallel. Means since beginning, whatever is the variance level, whatever is the uh, variable level, these, all these things, this is the difference is maintained. That means variance is constant. If the variance is constant, that is known as homosodasticity, right? That is homosodasticity. You can say the one dot is here, one dot, one dot, one dot, and all. I mean, all these values are nearby this. But when we talk about this is the y-axis, x-axis, two variables are they are here. So you can see here all these things are, there is the list distance and after that, that is the distance is, you can see that you can measure here, right? That is wider. So that means this error term variance that is not constant. Error term variance means whatever is the actual line and actual points, and distance between actual and estimate. So if this is the gap is wider, right? Some points would be definitely they are lying on the regression line, right? But these, whatever is the difference between the estimated and actual, that is known as error term. So now you can see this is heterosodasticity. I hope this thing is clear to you. Now, what are the problems why heterosodasticity should not be in our model? Because OLS estimators are linear and unbiased but not efficient, not satisfying blue best linear unbiased estimator because they are not satisfying this condition, blue condition, that is the best linear unbiased estimators. And variance of OLS estimator and variance of error term are biased. So hypothesis testing is not reliable. Test statistics do not follow t-test and f-test. And whenever is the problem of heterosodasticity is more common in 
cross sectional rather than time series data. How to measure the heterostoticity? Null hypothesis, there is no heterostoticity. We had uh, made null hypothesis. Condition of this null hypothesis, we can see here when the RP value, right, that would be greater than 0 0.05. When the p-value that is greater than 0 0.05, that means null hypothesis is accepted. Or we can call it fail to reject null hypothesis. But alternate hypothesis, there is heterostaticity. This is the condition when p-value, it is less than 0 0.05. At this point, we can say there is... Null hypothesis is rejected, alternate hypothesis accepted. That means we can say there is the problem of heterostaticity. So how we can measure it? There are these number of tests available and e-views. So we will talk about heterostaticity, how we can measure only through the e-views. So that is Brish Began, Godfrey test, white test, park test, and laser test. We will run all these tests in the e-views one by one. Now we come to the, that is the measurement, how we can measure this, but how we can remove this heterostaticity if that is present in your model, regression model. So there are the methods, WL, WLS, weighted least squared method. I will discuss when I would run all these tests in e-views. Data conversion as log value, means we will transform our data into as the log value. So that means we can somewhere is standardized and after that we will again check whether the heterostaticity is still is there or we have removed. Then we come to the hack test and that is heterostaticity autocorrelation consistent. Right. So this these are the some tests on the basis of which we can check heterostaticity removal of the heterostaticity and in the, I hope this video would be helpful to you and uh, in the next video we would run heterostaticity with the example with the one uh, example in the e-views I hope this video would be helpful thank you keep watching